Now that I've unlocked the power of each god fragment, it's time to put them to work against the hardest speedruns in the league. There is so many points to offer, so for these I hope to fly up the ranks and maybe I'll become rank. Wait, no, 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 don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Okay. Welcome back to the Shattered Relics League. I just wanna go back, back to 1999. Welcome to the Fragment Leveling Farm. This is so AFK with Personal Banker. You can just sit here and level four fragments of your choosing. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And now I am level three, Mixology. That was perfect timing. Mixologist is amazing for herb lore. Now I'm level three, I'm guaranteed to save my secondary ingredients and I always make four dose potions. Look at this, it is so nice. The red spider eggs never disappear and any annoying secondary, I just don't have to get. Plus I get four dose super stores. These are gonna be really nice for raids and all the speed run tasks I'm aiming for today. It also kind of works for crystal dust. I spend four to get pretty much a full inventory of divines. So why not upgrade? Wait, which one's the secondary here? Oh, it saves the herbs, not the potions. And anti-venoms, I figure it's gonna save torstals again. Yep, very nice bonus XP for 99. But solo mission, you didn't show us the Saradomen fragment. That's what I hear nobody saying, but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. When wielding four Saradomen items, the player's max hit is increased by 10 if they've taken damage in the last 3.6 seconds. Now this is amazing for something like a blowpipe. Think about it, because it's so quick, you're hitting those 10s so often. And that's my plan. The solution to getting Saradomen items is this ring in the Hallowed Sepulchre. It is a Saradomen item, but I need to get Hallowed Marks. Now, to get Hallowed Marks, I have got a fragment for that. Grave Robber. 300% more marks. All I've got to do is loot coffins, and I should have the Saradomen set effect in no time. No! Why is there someone here? I'm about to embarrass myself in front of this guy. I'm so bad at this. Oh, which one is- He's dead! <laughs> Wait, no, please. Okay, nice. I actually think this place is so cool. Looks good, plays well, 10 out of 10 content. We need more of this in old school. Even though I'm pretty bad at that, it was really fast. 350 marks in less than an hour, and I can get the Hallowed Ring, and I'm actually gonna purchase the Hallowed Grapple as well. And with that, I've got the Saradamin set effect with four Saradamin items, and they're all pretty peripheral. I can also switch in an Assembler and a Saradamin Full Helm when I get one of those. It's a really nice buff to my damage, and I barely lose any accuracy from it. The Saradamin Fragment doesn't actually specify a type of damage, so I can use this with any style. I'm gonna need a Kraken Tentacle eventually, and I figured this was the perfect place to use this Fragment, because I'm constantly taking damage, so I'm constantly getting plus 10 damage as well. Like... Oh, <laughs> a 66 with a trident. See what I mean? This is crazy good. Not a Kraken, but I'm never going to turn down free runes. It is twice the drop rate. Kraken tentacle. I may as well stay because there is a 250kc task. I'm only 17 off. Kraken tentacle added for 125 points. Why is this mini game so unnecessarily confusing? That's the barbarian training done. And I can turn my Zamorak Spear into a Haster, which is gonna be very useful for all types of raids. Before I go to raids, I'm going to get myself a Hydra task and try and turn this Haster into a Dragon Hunter Lance, because that will be crazy good. I'm doing Hydra with melee for the first time. It's actually pretty decent with the Haster and also the BGS specs pop off. Mate, these kills are actually so quick. Who needs a Bofa in this league? Like, don't even bother getting it, trust me. And what's that? Yeah, new PB, 102, nice. 125 points for 50 Hydra kills. And that is 75. I didn't get their leather or the claw. I'll come back, but... I'm not trying to spend my entire day at Hydra. I can't be bothered with that. Another good option for god items is speaking to this guy here. If you change your family crest, you're able to get painted kite shields and full helms. I'm going to paint a rune full helm into a rune heraldic helm, and this should count as a Saradomen item for my set effect. It's time to come back to chambers for those speed runs, and the fragments I'm going to be working around are Thrall damage for 300% increased max hit of Thralls, Bandosian might for increased melee hits by 16, and Saradomist defense for increased max hits by 10. My full bandos set is going to crush everything with melee and then for the range I've also got the Saradamin set with my heraldic helm and all my peripheral things. The fastest time for a chamber speed run is 16 minutes. Now I don't have anywhere near max gear but I'm hoping my set effects can carry me to be quick. Oh this gear is so much better. Watch this crystal. Just get deleted and then I'm using melee for most things because that plus 16 max hit from the bandos effect. It just makes such a huge difference. I got absolute unit on as well. Don't have to worry about taking damage. This is literally tutorial mode rage right here. From absolute unit, all this damage should be halved. No Phoenix necklace needed, I hope. 
Oh, it's a close one. Honestly, don't be shy to give solo raids a go. It is so much easier in this mode, trust me. I've got a nice edge on, so why not just spam the locator orb? Get all the way down to low hit points. Let's go to one. One hit point. Every hit point I'm missing, I get 0.6% damage. Bro, this is cracked. Oh my god, my thralls up as well. That can hit 12s and holy shit, do you see that hit? Like 83, 70 something. Bam, I'm just deleting the melee hand. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's gone. Please, Ohm, um, hit me. Activate Saradome and go. 34 blowpipe, 41 blowpipe. See what I mean? Oh my days, it plus 10s onto the max. And it's going to make a really good difference. But I'm just not getting hit enough. Come on, hit me. And that is the time. Easily done. Another 500 league points for two more speedrun tasks. And that's all the normal chamber speedrun tasks done. Time to do the challenge mode tasks. And this is the perfect sort of place for my Saradomin Relic. Look, I'm getting hits all the time. Use my blowpipe. 41 with a blowpipe. We are just completely smoking these things out. Light work, one minute to spare, and oh, I got a purple. Let's go. 550 league points as well. That's all the speed run tasks with challenge mode raids done. I'll be back to Cox. It is pretty fun with all these set effects. So what do we get from the chest? Please, something good. Hey, Rigger, let's go. Dexterous prayer scroll. One unique as well, and I'm pretty sure using this is also a task, so that's very nice. It's going to make everything else so easy now as well. Read the prayer scroll, and that is 50 league points. The next speed runs I want to do are in the Tazar area, so I'm buying the Tazar Slayer task option, and we can just pick a task. Tazars, we're going to Jihad first. Once again, Saradomin is shining down on me, and I'm also going to locate orb down for this fight cave speed run. I need 25 minutes. All right. This wasn't as good as I thought it would be with the Saradome and stuff because I'm just not taking damage. I'm 99 defense. I did not think this through. Anyway, most of fight cave speeds are positioning. So we should be completely fine to get this time. I'm 18 minutes in. Like, God damn, this is going quick. All right, time for Jad. Locator orb all the way down to one hit point. We want that max damage, baby. Get my thrall out. That can hit 12s as well. So much going on. Very nice. That is two tasks done. 35 and 25 minutes. The master, the fastest possible fight cave task there is. And we've got four and a half minutes to spare. So that was pretty easy. I'm choosing Tazars again. And this time we're upgrading. Tuz Kalzuk. Let's go and do an Infernal Cape. Now this is where the Saradomin set is going to come into play. Those blobs always hit me. So plus 10 of my blowpipe. Don't mind if I do. This is going to be speedy. Oh, 46 blowpipe. That's what I get. I'm just leaving this blob alive to hit me the entire wave and then I can just finish off blood barraging it, get all my hit points back, and it's just making my blowpipe pop off. Damn, I actually kind of regret getting the Zuck pet in the last league. It'll be so much more fun to get in this one because this Saradome and stuff just making me delete things. Oh my God. It's just so fast. <laughs> like I don't have time to think. Triple jab's done. 46 minutes in. I've got half an hour to do Zuck and I've got the armadillo effect so I get double bolt specs. I don't think this is going to be an issue. All right, so I want to test something. Oh, oh, oops. I fell behind the shield. Wait, absolute unit? Wait, does it work? Oh, it actually works! You can reflect damage onto Zuck. This is the new speed run meta. Oh my god. Wait, I want to get a higher hit. Am I actually going to do this again? What's the max of Zuck? Like 250 divided by 2. That's 125. I can die from this. Please, no. Oh, only 23. I don't know why. I just really want to see 100. Come on, Zuck. You can hit. I'm scared, though. It's like an hour of my time. Come on. Bang me. No, a 40. Wait, I'm not even going to make that next bit. Please, no. <laughs> All right, he's basically dead now. I should stop messing around. And that is the Inferno speedrun task done. 75 minutes and I'm actually 21 minutes over the time there. So not too difficult once again. I've got the Bandos Might Fragment and the full Bandos for the forecast speedrun task. 
I think it's going to go well. Two more hits. One more hit. I had to get it on this one, I'm pretty sure, for 45 seconds. And I've done it. I didn't get two specials, so I'm pretty sure that should be the time. 375 league points for that. 15 kills without leaving. 125 points. I don't even know why. I tried to do this with range like five days ago. And for the special dodging task, it's a really good idea to go on this tile when he spits up the green stuff. And you pass it every single time. 125 points. That can be a pretty tricky one. So try and use the entrance tile and you should be okay. One thing that grinds my gears in this league is changing spell book with this thing you gotta go into your fragments you gotta switch them all up like uh so irritating considering i want to use thralls and all that sort of stuff and my solution is to use my level three plank stretcher to save 50 percent of my planks we're gonna get 99 construction no i miscalculated and got bad rng on the plank procs i feel like 100k xp come on the dream oh we saved one i need to save it like seven times in a row Oh my god, I saved two. The dream, the dream, the dream. Three? Come on. Let's do it. Four? Another one, another one, another one. Oh no. Level 99 construction. I am crawling there to max. That's a really fast one. And now I can get myself the cape, which is going to save me from getting irritated basically with the cape i can teleport to my house anytime which has multiple teleports all around the game so easy my rank has been slipping down the high school so it's about time i go and collect some points First day to a flood run of the league. I'm literally only here for the points. I'll be back tomorrow to try and get myself some loot. And do we get the time? I'm pretty sure we will. Everything's just so free. The speed run task, 500 league points for that. How fast were we? Oh yeah, we had three minutes to spare. Any purples? No purples. A hey, shout out to Ionia and a cold one for being absolute beasts. I actually checked the stats and 99% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. Can you just make sure you're subscribed? Thanks everyone. One thing I love about the Shatter Relics League are the mini game fragments. I'm currently doing Barbarian Assault and I'm actually going to get four times the points from each run. Massive shout out to the League BACC. They carried me through all the waves and now I can purchase all the rewards with all my points. They do offer paid services so i've linked their discord in the description if you're struggling to find a team a very afk or level 5 ba and with that i have mopped up enough tasks to get 35,000 league points oh that looks so so clean i'm getting dragon tier this league by the way the last two i actually got rune even after trying so hard in the first few weeks so i'm making sure while i'm motivated to do all these tasks so where does that put me on the high scores well, rank two, deja vu. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.